Howdy folks, today we're going to be reacting to the Oscar nominations. For supporting actor, we have Sterling K. Brown in American Fiction, Robert De Niro in Killers of the Flower Moon, Robert Downey Jr. in Oppenheimer, Ryan Gosling in Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo in Poor Things. Where is Charles Melton? I'm sure Sterling K. Brown was great in American Fiction, but he has nothing on Charles Melton in May-December. I think that Robert Downey Jr. is going to win. Costume design, Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I think that Poor Things is going to win this one. Makeup and hair, What the Hell's Golda, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and Society of the Snow. I am pretty sure that Maestro is going to win this. I have not seen any of the live-action short films except for The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, and I think that will definitely win. Wes Anderson will finally have an Oscar. I have not seen any of the animated shorts. Congrats to the nominees. For adapted screenplay, we have American Fiction, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. I think that either Oppenheimer, Barbie, or Poor Things is going to win this one. It's great to see American Fiction and The Zone of Interest here, but it really should have been Killers of the Flower Moon instead of one of those. For original screenplay, we have Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May December, and Past Lives. It is really great to see Past Lives and May December here, but I think the clear winner is going to be The Holdovers. I mean, the Cherry's Jubilee scene alone is enough to win this award, especially this line. Christ on a crutch! What kind of a fascist hash foundry are you running here? Supporting actress, we have Emily Blunt in Oppenheimer, Danielle Brooks in The Color Purple, America Ferreira in Barbie, Jodie Foster in Nyad, and Davine Joy Randolph in The Holdovers. I think that Davine Joy Randolph is easily going to win. For original song, we have songs from Flamin' Hot, Barbie, American Symphony, and Killers of the Flower Moon. Flamin' Hot has the same amount of nominations as May December. I think I'm Just Ken from Barbie is going to win. The nominees for original score are American Fiction, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I have been recently listening to the Oppenheimer score while doing homework, and it is definitely going to win. Although, I do also quite like the score from Killers of the Flower Moon. I have not seen any of the best documentary nominees, but from what I've heard, I think that 20 Days in Mariupol will win. Same thing for the documentary shorts, congrats to the nominees. Nominees for Best International Film are Io Capitano from Italy, Perfect Days from Japan, Society of the Snow from Spain, The Teacher's Lounge from Germany, and The Zone of Interest from Britain. I recently watched Society of the Snow, and it was absolutely incredible. But, The Zone of Interest is the only one of these films also nominated for Best Picture, so that one is definitely going to win. For Best Animated Picture, The Boy and the Heron, Elemental, Nimona, Robot Dreams, and Across the Spider-Verse. I really can't decide on this one, it's either going to be Spider-Verse or The Boy and the Heron. I really want to see Robot Dreams, but it has not released in the US yet, so that's why I'm counting it as a 2024 release. For Best Production Design, Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I think that Barbie is definitely going to win this one. Editing, Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I think that Killers of the Flower Moon is going to get this, just for making a three and a half hour movie feel like an hour. But I can also see The Holdovers getting this one. For Sound, The Creator, Maestro, Mission Impossible, Oppenheimer and the Zone of Interest. I really was not expecting to see the creator here. That movie flew really under the radar, but I think that the Zone of Interest will win this one. I heard it does some interesting things with its sound design. For VFX, the creator, Godzilla Minus One, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Mission Impossible, and Napoleon. I actually expected the creator this time, but I actually think it's going to be Godzilla Minus One that wins this. The nominees for cinematography are El Conde, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I really did not expect to see El Conde here, but overall I think that Poor Things is going to win this one. Actor, Bradley Cooper and Maestro, Coleman Domingo and Rustin, Paul Giamatti and The Holdovers, Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer, and Jeffrey Wright in American Fiction. I would really love for Paul Giamatti to get this, but I think it's definitely going to be Killian Murphy in Oppenheimer. Jeffrey Wright is a very underrated actor, and I'm very glad he got nominated here, and I really did not expect Coleman Domingo to be nominated at all. For Best Actress, we have Annette Bening in Nyad, Lily Gladstone in Killers of the Flower Moon, Sandra Hewler in Anatomy of a Fall, Carrie Mulligan in Maestro, and Emma Stone in Poor Things. 
Lily Gladstone is going to get this, no doubt. There's no competition here. I'm sure that Annette Benning was great in Nyad, but she really stole this nomination from Greta Lee in Past Lives. For Best Director, Justine Triette for Anatomy of a Fall, Scorsese for Kills of the Flower Moon, Chris Nolan for Oppenheimer, Yorgos Lanthimos for Poor Things, and Jonathan Glazer for The Zone of Interest. I can really see this going either way. It's either going to be Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer or Yorgos Lanthimos for Poor Things. And the nominees for Best Picture are American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. I think that either Oppenheimer or Poor Things will win this award. I really don't know which one. It's a straight up 50-50, but I know it's one of those two. But there are some films that I feel should have been nominated, or at least could have been recognized. There was no Asteroid City, but I wasn't expecting any, and I feel that Greta Gerwig should have gotten a Best Director nomination for Barbie. There was also a disgusting lack of May-December nominations. Flamin' Hot has the same amount of nominations as May-December, and more nominations than Priscilla, The Iron Claw, 1001, Theater Camp, Dream Scenario, and Infinity Pool. Flamin' Hot.